Hi guys, Sion Viviet, welcome to my kitchen and to my wonderful show, Alla's Yummy Food. I'm Alla, the host of the show, and I'm so excited to have you here today. I've been working a lot and prepared this incredible recipe for you. If you love raspberries and you like marshmallows and zephyr, uh, like a cross, zephyr is a Russian um, dessert, which is a cross between marshmallow and uh, meringue. Uh, it's kind of a combination of both, and I love it so much. I grew up on it, and this today is gonna be more advanced flavor. We're going to be making it with raspberry filling, uh, cheeky raspberry filling that's gonna be hidden inside, and the flavor literally burst in your mouth I absolutely love it and I can't wait for you to try it as well now guys if you want access to all my recipes including this one you can become a member today by just signing up I will leave all the links down below in my description box and join others in cooking with me now let's get started first thing we're gonna do is make our raspberry filling center over here I've got sugar and pectin which I'm mixing together in order so that sugar doesn't form lumps with pectin. Then add raspberry puree into a pot. You can make your own or get store bought. Once your raspberry puree is boiling, you want to mix this through and then add half of your sugar pectin mixture. Mix it through really quickly and then add the rest of your sugar pectin. You want to do this in stages so that we don't have any lumps. Once it's all mixed, we're going to cook this from three to five minutes on high heat. Keep whisking at every stage so the mixture doesn't burn. If the mixture is burning too fast, lower the heat a little bit. Once it's done, I'm going to transfer this into a piping bag and leave it for four hours to chill. To make raspberry zephyr, we're going to mix raspberry and apple puree together. If you don't know how to make apple puree, I'll leave it all in the recipe. Then we're going to add sugar and we're going to mix everything together. I usually place this in a microwave just to warm up until the sugar melts. You can do the same. And once everything is melted, you want to leave the mixture to cool down completely for a few hours. You can also put this into the fridge if you want to. Now you can see our raspberry apple puree is done and it's ready to go it's nice and cold so we're just going to set this aside before we start making zephyr we want to make sure everything is ready so this is my raspberry filling center that we made earlier what i'm going to do now i'm going to pipe little lumps on top of our baking sheet just like so so that it's ready to be piped when our zephyr mixture is done you want to make sure everything is ready <laughs> Now into your stand mixer bowl, add your puree, raspberry puree together with apple and sugar cooled. Then you wanna add your egg white. And we're gonna start mixing this on medium speed at first. You wanna whisk this for several minutes until the color starts to change. And we have whisked halfway through our meringue. Because we're gonna be adding syrup later, we wanna make sure we're ready for this. To make your syrup, you want to add water, sugar, and glucose syrup inside, okay? You then also want to add your agar-agar and place everything onto the stove. You're going to cook this on a medium to low heat. You want to make sure that all your ingredients melt together and it creates a nice, beautiful syrup. Don't be tempted to cook this um, very, very fast because you need to make sure that the syrup cooks and agar will activate after uh, the mixture starts to boil. So this can take from five minutes up to seven minutes uh, cooking on the medium speed. Um, you need to make sure that the mixture cooks to around 110 degrees Celsius or when you start to see that it becomes a bit sloppy. <laughs> so like a thicker consistency of um, like a yogurt, I would say, you know, that drips down. The mixture will bubble, which is absolutely normal. And agar will kind of become a bit brown in color. And that's when you know that your syrup is nearly done. 
once it reaches that temperature or the consistency that you're looking for, like you can see here in the video, you want to take it off the heat. You want to turn on your stand mixer on high speed and start pouring your syrup on the side very, very slowly. You want to do this on the side so that your syrup doesn't touch the whisk by accident because if it will touch it by accident, it will go everywhere. So you have to be very, very careful. Once you've poured all your syrup, you're going to continue to whisk on high speed until you will see the mixture will double in size and cool down and become nice and firm. Make sure that you don't over whisk the mixture or it will become runny and the zephyr will not work anymore. So you really need to watch this step here and not leave the stand mix aside to make sure that you get nice stiff peaks. The mixture will also become different color, it will become a lot more paler than when you originally started and that is absolutely normal. Now take your piping bag lined with the star shaped nozzle or you can use any other nozzle that you like and place your mixture inside. You want to put all your mixture ideally into your piping bag. If you don't have enough then you can use two piping bags. As the agar agar sets at around 40 degrees celsius the mixture will start to set as well so you really need to work quickly here. Pipe your raspberry zephyr on top of your raspberry filling, almost hiding it, going in round motion and then topping it up in the middle. You want to repeat with all of them just like in a video. And then once it's all ready, you're going to leave it to set overnight or ideally for 24 hours so it hardens. This can happen faster for you or slower, depends on the humidity level and depends where you are. Now, once they're done, I do recommend adding a bit of icing sugar on top of each zephyr uh, because it will be very, very sticky. And using your hands, you can dip them in icing sugar as well. You want to peel first half of the zephyr and then glue it together with your second half. Take them off very nice and gentle and the both halves will glue easily together. And then you want to dip it back into the icing sugar. I have prepared a little bowl here where I've put my icing sugar so it's easy for me to dip my zephyr. And you just want to go around and repeat the process until you've done your entire zephyr. Um, so this recipe will make 24 halves and 12 full large zephyrs like this. Let's cut inside and see how it looks. These marshmallows are perfect on the same day because they have raspberry filling. You should consume them within one to two days as they will soak through. And they have beautiful taut raspberry filling inside, crispy and soft marshmallow outside. They're so yummy, enjoy.